Hello and welcome to the Seafoam Isles Draft League week um, week three. Oh, this is also season two. Season two, week three, game seven. This match is between Morgana and Reich. Um, Reich is coach of the Burger King dress and Morgana is coach of the Smite a Spike Puff, uh, Spike Muff, more Picos. Um, the Mega Pokemon in this match are Mega Blastoise on Reich's team and Mega Mawile on Morgana's team. The Z Pokemon for each player are Z Any Dragonite and Z Attack Kabutops for Reich and for Morgana. Pokemon are Z any more Pico and Z attack Curse Law. So all the Z Pokemon except for Cabotops are making an appearance and both Mega Pokemon are making an appearance. So now we'll move on to first impressions of the teams. Um, first thing I see is the fact that Morgana's uh, Dragonite resists are not real. Like, actually, I guess with Grassy Terrain up, Slowking can stomach it, kind of. Uh, <laughs> but with multi-scale, it's just like, you can have my Earthquake, but then I'll just hit you again. <laughs> At plus one, Dragonite looks like it might just be able to win depending on terrain. Oh, the dual Wing Beat can hit everything except for Mawile incredibly hard. Uh, maybe Blastoise can live one and Ice Beam back, but it definitely cannot live a um, Outrage. Uh, if it is Outrage, it could be D Drake, like Devastating Drake, Z, and, you know, Blastoise is incredibly dead in that scenario. Um, but, and I'll just stop talking about Dragonite very briefly and move on to the other side. The Slow King looks very strong. With Skull being able to burn Dragonite, which is pretty much the only physical attacker on Reich's team, unless, you know, Ferrothorn is offensive. We don't, unless, like, if it's body pressure, I, I suppose it could work there. Uh, Flamethrower cooks that, though, so it's not like it really matters. Uh, knockoff would only do, like, 30%, and then you just regenerator that off, teleport into um, another Pokemon, and then just kill it that way with, like, Shell Smash, Blastoise, Click, uh, or a Sphere, and it pulls over the whole team or you send in mega mawile with sub focus punch and just win instantly <laughs> by just popping that so yeah slow king looks really really strong here rillaboom is necessary for the grassy terrain so you don't get swept by dragonite turn one um Sneedo king looks really good only rillaboom is the only grass or the only ground resist and that gets hit by sludge wave so that's really hard hurricane spam is deadly only resist is more pico so zapdos looks scary it's just like a bunch of one resistance things for reich to deal with so morgana's team is weak is like defensively here because it each typing only has one switch in but the beauty of Morgana's team is that switch-ins literally don't matter. You're just trying to kill the, <laughs> the other team as fast as possible, or you're slow king. So, that's what I'll say about this. If Reich's going to try and decompose and sleep, and Morgana's just trying to murder Reich. <laughs> Reich's team, not Reich. Whoa. <laughs> but, yeah. Whoa. A lot of text, but um, it looks like okay. So in comes Zapdos and Cursula. So uh, Cursula could probably just click Shadow Ball here and blow everything back. There is no Ghost Resist, which I'm now noticing. <laughs> in comes Blastoise. This if this can live a, it can easily live a Shadow Ball. It can probably... Yeah, it can live this. But Meteor Beam is a great bring. That Meteor Beam did 70. Holy shit. Uh, Pl uh, Dark Pulse will easily kill. Water Pulse would probably even kill at this point. But Dark Pulse will, yeah, kill. Very, very, very clean. Cleanly from 
Mega Blastoise. Down goes the Crystal. So Crystal went for that Meteor Beam. That would have killed instantly. Versus the Zapdos, which would have opened up Rillaboom massively. Though, uh, Dragonite is still here. So, Fake Out comes off, does no percent. It, yeah, like eight, eight whole percent. Um, Hunger Switch goes off. So, Stab or Wield would do a lot. Parting Shot comes out. I'm going to guess that Zapdos clicks Volt Switch here. So, it's not really a huge deal. That parting shot, yeah. It does, it does a whole 10% to Slow King. Slow King is so annoyingly bulky. It's so good. In comes Dragonite. Dragonite's probably going to Dragon Dance. Yeah. And then just uh, Earthquake next turn. Ice Beam, though, does 59%. That would have o code, but you know, multi scale be multi scale. <laughs> In comes Blastoise on the Z Drake, I think, or unless it's Z Fly. Yeah, it's Z Drake. Down goes Blastoise. Well, looks like I called that out pretty well. <laughs> In comes uh, Maki, the Mawile. Gonna go for like probably just in a hard play rough. Though it could sub SD, Focus Punch, and just win right now. Uh, my guess is the SDs. No, Ice Punch comes off. Does 31%. Uh, Iron Barbs is going to hit Maki back for a little bit of damage. In comes Sloking Galar. Body Press does a whole 7%. Wow. I think I had a pretty good grasp of these sets before we came in. <laughs> I I didn't even know his team. Like I've helped right before, but I don't know. I did. I don't know his sets this game. I I think I'm just getting pretty lucky here. Roost comes off. I don't think Dragonite is safe right now. It's gonna take a 59 from that Ice Beam, and Future Sight will probably manage to just straight up kill from this range. So, yeah, in comes. Or Beetle. Gonna Frisk Assault Vest. Psychic comes off to a whole 39%, which is nothing. Or Beetle is pretty bulky. It takes almost half from the Psychic Future Psych combo. Uh, I think Flamethrower, maybe? It probably might. It might just only have Psychic or Sludge Bomb or something. Future Psych comes off again, however. Infestation comes out. Flamethrower comes off. Does a whole lot of percent. I don't think Orbital's sticking around to deal with that flamethrower. <laughs> to be honest. Because, yeah, I feel like, no. After a flame... Like, flamethrower's just going to keep... Oh, well, he didn't use flamethrower, so... Infestation's going to keep wearing down the uh, Slow King. Recover comes off. I don't know. Like, sure, you can keep Infestation, but it won't last forever. And you're taking a lot of damage from Flamethrower. It's a 2 at KO. You only have so many uh, Recovers. Yeah, I think Flamethrower plus Future Sight is able to kill. So, <laughs> I, I, I'm 90% sure that this guy does not just, just doesn't stick around. Because it's guaranteed to kill with Flamethrower plus uh, Future Sight. Because that's a 75% recover gives you back. Uh, what is it? I, I mean, you can hit it with Psychic soon, but, you know... Uh, at that point, you're in really bad shape. Infestation ends, so maybe we'll see Infestation again. No, we'll see another Recover. Future Sight's going to go off and do 28%, bring it down to, like, yeah, 69. Hunger Switch goes off, so now, uh, what is it? Yeah, Orwheel's going to be Dark-type. Orwheel does 33%. Speed Boost goes up. 
body press does a billion percent. <laughs> well, eh, it critted. I'm not sure if the crit mattered, really. It was... It is more Pico, after all. In comes Mawile. Going to probably play rough. Nope. Iron Defense from the uh, Orbeetle comes out. Swords Dance comes off from Mawile. What do we see here? Body Press does 53%. This thing is disgusting damage. Uh, without Coberberry, though, I don't think... Yeah, it's not really safe against Mawile. I think... Right, yeah, right goes for body press here. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think there was any. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this real quick. In this situation, I probably would have gone for sucker punch because Reich doesn't really gain anything by sticking around here. And with Ferrothorn, you could probably live one, one hit from um, Mawile and then just hit Barb's. And then, like, Aqua Jet with... Or e even if this just has Aqua Jet in general, uh, Mawile is pretty much done at that r at that rate. Because Mawile is slower than Blastoise. So, I, I don't think Reich lost anything by just going for the second body press. So, uh, that was a good play by Reich. Um, I, I'm not going to say it was bad by Morgana. It was Sucker Punch Mind Games at that game. Unless just didn't have sucker punch in comes yeah your guy the turtle man gonna go for that dark pulse probably pick up a kill maybe not though because you know it's freaking slow king gelar dude this thing is just so dumb this thing is so dumb uh that flinch though that was a big flinch honestly uh, yeah, Dark Pulse is going to do 39%. There's nothing Morgana can do to Zapdos, really, right? Unless Reich just sacks this. I, I, I think sacking this is probably the right play, because then you don't give it the opportunity to go for Sword Stance. But, ah, whatever. Grassy Glide does 29%. I think if Sword Stance came off there... If this is bulky Zapdos, then Swords Dance Woodhammer would probably KO, especially if you just like miss Hurricane here. Or yeah, Volt Switch. You would just go for Woodhammer. Kapow, absolutely dead. <laughs> so that was just like I won't say it's a risky play. It was not super risky, I don't think, because you had your whole team left, pretty much. Uh, Dark Pulse is going to pick up the KO. In comes Slowking Galark. Slowking's probably going to just flamethrower. No, it's going to go for Psychic. Uh, because, you know, that's just the safest play. Yeah, Psychic's going to take down Blastoise. In comes Dragonite, just going to finish off the game with the Earthquake. Yep. So, that is game 5-0 for Rike. That was a really good game. I'm not... There wasn't a whole lot of hacks. I, the mind games are really fun with them all while, honestly. Uh, it was a really solid game from both sides. Like, it, it looks... Okay, so, here's the thing. It might have been 5-0, but Zabdos was at 76 uh, there were just like a couple calls with Slow King speci in uh, uh, Mawile specifically. Those were the two big Pokemon in this game for Morgana. I don't think there were misplays. It's just like, you know, you lost two coin flips. <laughs> I, I don't think the Orbeetle versus, um, versus Mawile was exactly like... I'm not, that wasn't a coin flip. I think it was more like 75-25 that he went for body press there. But, you know. That was pretty solid. So, uh, good game both. I, I'm i going to say, though, it's just like a lot of 50-50s. It wasn't really fair to blame. It's not fair to blame Morgana for this loss. The differential probably could have been closer, but... 
it was still really well played from both sides and um i will see you in um whatever game i record next